Hi guys. Do you guys go to the store, especially lately, and you get into the store and you have like a plan of what you're doing and then like, and things that you're gonna buy and then like the prices of things are just so utterly ridiculous that it's like, oh my goodness, how did that jump up so much? That was part of my day today. Um, but I also did two thrift stores and I get some great deals. And I also have a little story to tell you about um, our fabric find and some other things. So I am Mama Bear to Many. I am mom to 14 children. 12 of my children are still here at home. And we're just like you guys. We're not fancy. We're just, you know, maybe you guys are all fancy. I don't know. Uh, we're just trying to do it, right? We are just going day in, day out, living our lives, trying to like beat the inflation and going there. Okay, just small thing. I bought two things of diapers and two things of wipes and it was a hundred bucks. It's like a hundred bucks is nothing anymore. It's just like, I don't even know. I just don't even know. It's making me reevaluate, rethink. Right now we're doing cloth probably about 30% of the time. I did bring the cloth diapers back out. I want to get more cloth going on, but it just has me reevaluating. But why don't you come with me today and I will show you, I went to Walmart a um, surplus sal salvage type store and then two thrift stores and I will show you what I got and how much I spent there. So let's go do this. Okay, so it was totally crazy today. So I have my table like all out in different sections. So we have um, just some weird things that happened at Walmart. It was just, I don't even know. It was just really weird, but eggs were like, two and a half dollars more than they usually were last week i think it was they were 11 something now they're 13.48 and i did find some silk milk here i found some of these for 268 in the cases that they have like in there but our store was really empty with with lots of areas it was just really odd but they said that they're reworking the store i'll tell you a little bit about that in just a minute let's see what we got okay so I ended up, remember last week I had, um, I had some leftover money. So I ended up paying $68, which would have been the other part of my last week's budget or this week's budget. I bought some on Monday and some on today just to fill us in so we can start shopping on Friday of next week. So I got four romaine hearts and... I got five of these little cucumbers. Now, this right here, my food part of this was $68. I got some bananas. I got three things of bananas. And then I got these four milks. These were $2.68 instead of $4.05. I had the cheap ones um, in my cart. I just had two because I want to start making my own almond milk. I had two for backups. And I ended up um, seeing these on clearance. So I ended up just buying all the ones they had on clearance. And then... I got two things of the baby carrots here and then a case of eggs. So that came to um, $68.26, I believe. I added it up in the car. Um, so I'm gonna show you the rest of the stuff that I got at Walmart, including those diapers. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I got two cases of wipes. These are the wipes that I like. You can like scrub something with them if you needed to. Um, so those are the wipes that I like. And then I got two cases of the diapers here. I'm hoping just to do mainly cloth diaper and only use um, these for nighttime as well as if we're going out somewhere. So all of the fabric, all of the fabric at my store was on sale. So all of my fabric was um, well, not all of it wasn't on sale, but I guess apparently our store is no longer going to carry cut fabric. And maybe this has happened throughout your stores. I'm not really quite sure because it's just, um, it was just really, really weird. It was kind of like this weird feeling when I went in Walmart today. I don't know what was going on, but it was just kind of weird. So I went over there and they had these bin, they had this bin in like the center part of the aisle for um, fabric and at first I just saw it look like tulle like all that like 
ruffly type stuff and I was like, oh, I don't want tulle. But next to it had bolts of fabric for $20. So I ended up, I, there was tons of them that had like really nice fabric. Um, I ended up getting this one and this one. Those were the ones that I really liked. I was thinking on making myself an apron out of that, honestly. I need to start wearing aprons more often. I really, really do. So, um, I was thinking an apron for that, and then this, I'll probably do some dresses, and then I took some pictures of some fabric, and I asked my daughter, and she said she really liked this one, so I grabbed that one, too. So, I went over there, and I was in that area because I thought about buying myself some yarn, so I'm like, I wanted a wool blend so that I could make a scarf, um, but then I wanted to do like a scarf with a hood because I want to learn how to knit better. Uh, my daughter, she can knit really well and I cannot knit very well. Um, and I want to just learn how to knit and purl and I thought doing a scarf would be the perfect way to do it. But I wanted to get some chunky um, yarn so I didn't feel discouraged and so it would be warm for me. And so I was over in that section and there was a ton of yarn that was on sale. Um, but it was all stuff that... I didn't really want it. It was either blanket stuff or like just that like weird fabric-y all polyester type stuff. Um, there was some of that and then like the cheap yarn they had for like a dollar fifty a thing. So if you're looking for that type of yarn there was a ton of it there for cheap. We have a lot of that because we were so blessed that somebody gifted us a bunch of yarn last year. So um, then I went to come like around the other side and they had um, I was looking at the bolts and all the fabric that like you'd cut, they'd roll out and they'd cut out, all the fabric was on clearance. So I was like, oh, maybe I'll grab some white. Well, I grabbed a little more than white. I'll show you. So the white one, oddly, was $3.50 a yard. And I was like, yeah, no, thank you. Um, so I ended up getting this color, which is perfect. It will work out good. So this was $2 a yard. And I took the rest of the bolt of that. And then I saw these ones. I thought these, I don't know. I love this old fashioned type color. Like I honestly, I might make, because I saw these two together, I might end up making some jumpers with like a little apron to go over it like in this, just cause that's so cute. And I don't know, little girls look so cute in that. And then this would be, um, an, again, for jumper and maybe apron. We'll see about apron. And then this piece here, actually, I didn't buy that piece first. I bought this piece first because it seemed to match perfectly with this for a backing on an apron. And so I was like, okay. So I asked him for three yards, but there wasn't quite three yards. There was only two. And then I was like, oh no, my daughter's not here. I don't know if I can do what I want to do with only two yards. So then I bought this red fabric because... I knew I needed enough. So this had a little bit more than three yards, so I got three and a half yards of that, and I bought the end of that. So that was a great price. I did end up getting this, um, and I might just start making a scarf with this. I just don't know if this is gonna be enough for a full scarf. I'll have to talk to her about that. But this was $1.50 a yard. But this was like bulky enough that it won't make me feel like I'm spending forever um, knitting, because I can get discouraged really easy if I feel like I'm spending forever. And then, as I was having him cut fabric, I saw this, like, sitting on the floor. And so it's three yards for two fifty. and oh my goodness, isn't that cute? I love that. Absolutely love that. So then, I was like, ooh, that matches the red too. Anyway, I don't know which one I like better now. Okay. That was my Walmart haul. I'm getting my receipt, so you guys can see what I got. Let me see. That was grand total with the food with the food and the other stuff was two hundred and seventy five dollars. So like two thirteen maybe? I can't do the math in my head right now. Anyway, that's how much that was. So that was I don't know, kind of overwhelming. I don't know. I felt like that was a lot of money. I don't like spending lots of money, but at the same time, my husband, one of the reasons that I went is because my husband, he, um, he 
worked so we had a big storm which i posted a little bit about and he worked a lot of um, overtime and i was like okay if he's working a lot of overtime there's things that i want to pick up that i would have on hand for weeks that we don't have a lot so like i put money aside for things like we're having to do some like chiropractic care or things that aren't covered by our insurance um so i just have been putting i like put some money aside for that and those types of things so if you guys are blessed that way like think ahead of things i also wanted to go into this first store i knew that i wanted to get some diapers because that's one of the things that if we do have a little extra money i'll go and i'll just stock up so i have a little bit extra diapers um so that's why i got that and then i just happened to see the fabric sale there um i also went into a store called martin's if you are from maine you know the little slogan you should have bought it when you saw it at martin's because things go on sale but it's not always the same thing it's always different things that they have there and so um you have to whatever they have at that moment if it's something good you gotta grab it because they probably won't have it later on okay so i'll show you what i got here so these apparently i thought these were avocados i don't know if these are avocados or Pears. I think it's an avocado because it has a big belly. Anyway, this is Christmas wrapping paper. It was 99 cents and it was 75% off, so that would make it roughly 25 cents. And we have some pineapple paper. So I grabbed those two. Those were the only like selection that they had beside another one that was 219 and it was 17 it was 75% off, but I just decided not to do it. I'm kind of thinking that. I saw this thing and it's something to save money and I'll share it with you guys now. I'm not doing it currently, but I've really thought about it because my kids, they love to draw and make pictures. So I think what I might do for small gifts is just to keep some of those pictures and put the um, pictures that they make in like a box and then use that for any small gifts to wrap things in. I thought that would be a cool idea. There's been times before that I've used like old paper bags. One of the stores used to always give us paper bags and we used to cut the bottoms off of the paper bags and then lay the other part out. And then I'd have the kids like paint or I'd like paint their hands and put their hands on it. And then we wrap gifts in that. And that was really fun. Um, also sometimes like in Amazon or whatever, if you get like something out of the Amazon thing, there's that brown paper that's like big you're gonna I'm gonna fold that stuff back up it's all these little things that like inflation right now is causing me to be like okay I gotta think about that again or I need to revert back to how I used to do things when we were like first starting out and poor and so all these little things I'm thinking yeah let's just try this out let's do this so um yeah you can take those things from Amazon and either your kids can paint them or you can just have them as brown wrapped packages um and even tie like a string around it like burlap looks i'm uh, not burlap what is that called it looks like ropey type stuff but raffita no i don't know the name anyway you could use any ribbon and tie a cute little ribbon around your package or not or paint on it or color it or whatever you want to do so i'm gonna practice doing some of those things so i didn't want to get too much wrapping paper but for a quarter i did get a couple things of wrapping paper okay so I got these um, big packing tapes for $1.29. That was a good price, or for me that's a good price. These are actually pretty wide. I think it has, let's see, this has 110 yards. You can get the smaller ones at Dollar Tree for like $1.25, um, but these are the big ones. And then I got a big thing of this um, duct tape for $2.99. Then I found these on an end cap, and I do not know. One of the kids must have taken this off. Anyway, it's 10 aluminum pans for $4.16. So I got two packs of them, so I got 20 pans for $4.16. So you know some freezer meals are coming up in those. We needed, this has been like crazy. I have this door in the front room. Oh, it's like ridiculous my door in my front room is such a pain literally in the past six months how many have we gone through like four or five i think five okay we have gone through four or five handles and locks and i don't know if it's because like people like 
try to go too fast or you know you have a bunch of kids and handles are just always an issue or they like try to like pull on the handle too much or whatever happens or if it's because like that door tends to frost heave there's a porch off of it and it tends to frost heave a lot and I don't know if that's the issue either but anyway we're having massive issues so I knew that I needed on my list was actually a handle and a um, deadbolt so I got this one and actually there was one just like this and it was marked for $29 and I was like, well, $29 for two sets is really a good deal. And then my son who was with me, he's like, oh, this one's only $18.99. It was the only one that was marked $18.99, but it was marked $18.99. I think because this one was this color and the other one was gold. I could care less what color my door handle is, to be honest with you. Um, it's cheaper. That's the one I got. Okay. Other things that we got. Are, I found these. I'm going to be doing a um, video with a new product that I have and I thought that I should probably use these bands and lids. So look out for that. I'm going to be probably adding it to the video where I'm canning meat as well. And it's a, it's a new product and I'm pretty excited about it, honestly. Um, these are super cute. There was one already out of the package. I'm trying to remember what it says on it. Let me see if I can open it up. So we had a bunch of cups that had like these little straw things inside of them that I had got and all of the straw things seem to be missing. So a lot of my cups actually need to go in the trash. This is an actual sippy here. And oh, it tells all about the sloth, so cute. Um, I don't know, it's just really cute. It says, don't hurry, be happy. And then it has a little sloth on front. So I got the two little girls this. It's really sturdy and this is actually stainless steel. Um, or maybe it's not stainless steel. What is this made out of? It's very hard. It's not, um, it's not like that cheesy plastic. I should read to see what this is made out of. BP really proof oh made of bamboo fiber that's what it's made of I was like I know it doesn't it almost feels like stainless steel on the cut part here um yeah so it's not plastic it's bamboo fiber anyway so these were $2.99 great deal these seem like they're gonna last a while they're like really sturdy they're not that fake cheesy plastic hopeful 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 okay so we lost power for a while. We were supposed to get a, we've had crazy weather. You know, somebody's doing something to the weather. We all know that, or I think we all know that. I don't know, do my viewers know that? Somebody's doing something to the weather? Anyway, if you don't know that, just don't think about it. Anyway, our weather has been really weird for the past few years. It's also, I think, like a solar, oh, I can't remember the name of it. Solar something, I forget the name of it. I want to say solar eclipse, and I know that's not it. <laughs> if you know what it's called, write it down in the comments below. Help me think of that. Um, so I got these, and I thought that I could put um, the solar part on the outside of my house by one of my windows in my living room, and then have these this solar boring. lights. Okay, there we go. And then have these solar lights to go um, in there. So we'll give it a try. We'll see what works. Then I don't even know how to make this comment. We have 14 people living in our house. One, four, 14 people. We have two toilets. We have one toilet that works absolutely fine. We have another toilet that we had to move from one side of our bathroom to the other side of our bathroom. So we needed to do that so we could put a handicapped shower in for my son who was in a wheelchair. So for years we have had problems with proper flushing of the downstairs toilet. It tends to get clogged very fast. Um, we thought that it was actually a septic problem. So we actually had it evaluated and we're told that it was actually a leach field problem because we're on our own septic. So we went and we put in a 35 
thousand, yes, I said thirty-five thousand dollar septic system. Um, only to find out our toilet still gets clogged. I got one of these for one ninety-nine. The other one was five ninety-nine, and I just bought two the other day because one of ours broke and the other one was missing. So I bought two the other day, but then I saw these on sale and these are our backup plungers. <laughs> because you know, I have to have a stockpile of plungers in this house. Okay, I need a vacuum. Uh, I should have a stockpile of vacuums as well because um, we've tried all different types of vacuums. We only had, <coughs> until we had the addition, um, we only have hardwood floors in here. It was easier for my son to get around on hardwood floors. And honestly, we only have like commercial, like carpet. It's not even put down appropriately. It's just kind of thrown over the floor because the floor gets cold. Anyway, we needed a vacuum, but we also need the hosey thing to vacuum out our vents. So we got this there for $53.40, which was good because then we ended up going to Walmart afterwards and this was $90 at Walmart, same exact one. So move off for that. I also, they don't, um, like I said, Martin's is always different and they do not always have these, but I got a bunch of these. We do not need them at this point, but I know come summer, we will need these. These are small hinges. So I got these for $1.70. And then we actually do need this one because we have old fashioned doors upstairs on the bathroom and um, the handle of the old fashioned door needed to come off. So this house was built in 1895 and our doors are really like something that you'd see like at an antique sale and we don't like the handles just were not working and it was getting to a point where the kids could like lock themselves in there and we wouldn't know how to get them out of the bathroom if that happened. Um, so we ended up taking the door handle completely off. So we have this appropriate technique where if you're going to the bathroom and you're an adult, then you would actually like close the door and shove a water bottle in front of it and then go to the bathroom. <laughs> well, Introducing the privacy chain lock for 238. You know, it's like all those little things that you don't think about until you like see, oh, that would be perfect. You only think about it like when you're ready to use the bathroom. Um, so these are also bigger hinges. These are 418 and then some padlocks. You guys are getting some stories today. Um, we also got we are going to help um, some people that we know. I don't want to mention names or anything. They recently, um, the father or the husband, he is um, at a point where he's like a, um, he's having a really hard time moving his legs. So he's getting a wheelchair and those types of things. So we still had my son's um, lift equipment, not a Hoya lift, a ceiling track lift. Um, and we donated it to this family. Um, we had it set up where, cause we didn't have a room above, above. So we actually put a bar across in our attic and set it up that way. Um, they actually have a second floor upstairs. So we are going to go directly into studs. So I made sure that I had the appropriate things um, to do that, I wasn't quite sure of the size, so I got two different sizes, and then I got some different size washers um, for that. They have really good deals. They always have good deals. If you can find the appropriate size, um, they have good deals on their um, bolts. Those were two fifty a pound for those, and then I got various sizes of our. Um, we have a garage, it's like a garage in a box type thing, and that's where we kept all of our, you know, like those shed kits, not shed kits, garage kits, right? So it's so like a big tarp over it. Well, we had one of those, and then our last storm, it just tore it to pieces. So we ended up taking what was really important and putting it into the back of the high tunnel for now because um, it's just been such crazy weather. It tore the first storm, the second, and then we put tarps on it, and then those tore the next storm. So we are just waiting until spring, but 
trying to find a screw in like the craziness is yeah crazy so i bought a bunch of screws so for this box um the screws went up in price the regular screws they are 350 a pound now um and then the big bolts were 250 a pound in case anyone locally was interested okay so that was that store let me see my receipt so that store was 178 dollars and 58 cents so that was for that stuff there okay so let's look we went to two two um thrift stores but at one thrift store i only got a couple things so these skates were five dollars and then i got these two um and these are really great we have a couple other professor noggin games they are really good for homeschooling get your knowledge in there and such so they had those for 50 cents a piece so that is all that i got at that one thrift store so that would have been six dollars in tax okay so other things this right here this section here is what i got at another store so my son took this out of the bag it works great it is two dollars it is just a folding chair that you take camping or in your yard or whatever that is lovely it's gonna fall yeah it fell um the other day we were doing um we were going to go for a walk and my daughters were riding their bikes and the little girl who is three she had this helmet on and her head is a little big so i got two more helmets to see if one of those would fit her the helmets were two dollars each and we always just keep helmets anyway in case somebody else is in need of a helmet. I got a little watering can like this. I actually like this size watering can. We're going to be starting seedlings pretty soon. And that size watering can is like the perfect size to do seedlings inside of the house. Okay, so then I have this. This can get filled with hot water and then press out and get some hot water. This will be to go or at home. Either or. If we have extra people and we're doing like hot cocoa and stuff for kids here... Um, that would be fine as well as um, if we're going someplace we could put this for hot water and then to make hot cocoa. I made our own hot cocoa mix the other day which has turned out super lovely so I might share that at some point. We'll see. Um, I wanted to go into the thrift store originally to get my daughter some new boots because her boots were, um, I don't know, they're kind of like this. But like this part has fallen down and they're just really hard for her to manage by herself. So I had to find time like helping her out with her boots. But, um, and I don't mind doing that. But they're really just getting like really bulky and the laces are getting torn. And I was like, well, let's just see what they have there. Um, these ones fit her perfectly right now. These ones right here. And that zipper will be easy for her. These don't even look like they were barely worn. Look at the treads on that. Um, boots there were $2 a piece. And these ones would probably fit her. They were a little bit, um, these fit her now, but had a little bit more growing room. So I figured that I would have those ones for her to wear first. And then those ones if she needed to later in the season. So then this is the same thrift store that has fill a bag and they included hat and mittens in here. So I ended up getting, I don't know if you can see this here. My daughter's going to take the camera. So I ended up getting this. I don't know. I just thought this was cute. I don't know. Good church dress, going out dress. I am going to the city now um, once or twice a week. My daughter needs to go to the city twice a week, but one of my other daughters has been taking her for the other time. Um, so the more I go out, the more couple outfits I need. A lot of my stuff is like spring and summer. I have a couple, um, probably like three I think dresses that I wear out to like the big city so I figured I'd try that on doesn't this look warm I don't know if this this looks super warm to me um we are going to wash this obviously um I think and then hang dry this because this looks like a um this looks the wool I don't know what the things are in it let's see kids know that 
Uh, I don't know. My eyesight. I do see polyester in there, so it's not all wool. Okay, it's super soft though, like wool. So let's dump this bag out. I got a lot of these, which was actually really nice because these gloves, like this size, are really great for driving and such. Um, and it seems like a lot of the ones like this were missing. So we're gonna wash all those. Got quite a few of those ones that size. I was just like, I'm just gonna throw those in there. Um, and then I got this hat. I actually got this for myself because I wanted, this is wool. This is the one that was wool. So this is 80% wool. So I thought that I would try to see if this would fit me. And if it does, great. I don't care if I have silly hair. What? Can you be done with this? No, yeah, you can be done with it. Um, anyway, that's wool. Thought I'd grab another one. Um, I got this. Like I said before that I was going to try to knit a thing. I always get cold right around here. So I thought if I wash this, I can wear it like twice and then just wear it around the house to try to keep that warmer. That's why a lot of times you see me in like a hooded sweatshirt because I'm cold right here. So I'll like, I'll even pull the hood up when I'm in the house because it's like right here that gets super cold on me. Um, and then I saw this and I thought of my daughter and I don't know if she'll like it or not, but it was fill a bag for $5. So I got that for her. Um, let me see. Oh, and I got this bag. So I saw this bag. This actually was at the other thrift store. Was it? Yes, that's why it was seven dollars. Seven, eight. Anyway, I got this bag. I thought this was cute. Um, I've been taking, I don't know if you've seen um, Sweet Pea's backpack or not. I've been taking my purse and Sweet Pea's backpack. And I thought it would really be nice to have a bag that was big enough. That so that was the bag. I don't know. I think it's cute. I like it. It's my style. I got it. It was two bucks. Okay, so that is what I got. But it was stressful. It was really stressful. I was good. I was like on a good mood, all that type of stuff until I got to Walmart. And then I went to Walmart and I saw all these empty shelves, this craziness going on. I guess apparently like they're no longer going to sell like any fabric. It's going to be or they're going to sell like fabric that's only pre-cut, which that's not helpful if you need a bunch of fabric. It is kind of wasteful if you're making like a lot of dresses and need 10 yards of fabric. Um, but anyway, it is what it is. You can't really change it. So are you guys getting stressed out sometimes when you go in the store? I was thinking like, I just want to get done with this. <laughs> well, let me know in the comments below how you're feeling, how things are in your stores near you, if they stress you out or if you're okay with it. So I think I, I balanced out today. I got some great deals and then I got some stress, but I'm good now. So I hope y'all have a blessed day. <laughs>